Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the question What is glucose? Explain its chemical properties. So students, you know glucose is aldohexose. Hexose means it contains 6 carbon. Okay students, and it is also containing aldehyde. So aldo, glucose is aldohexose type and it is carbohydrate biomolecules containing 1 aldehyde and 5 hydroxy, 5 hydroxy functional group. So here this glucose is having two functional group one is aldehyde and 5 hydroxy group because of this it is having so many chemical properties understanding students what is glucose so glucose is aldohexose type carbohydrate biomolecules it is a biomolecules aldohexose so glucose is aldohexose type carbohydrate biomolecules containing one aldehyde and 5 hydroxy functional group understanding very important definition students so what is the molecular formula students so we will write molecular formula molecular formula which is equal to because it is kind of aldohexose so it will start c6 h hydrogen will be always double that is s12 and oxygen will be the same as carbon understanding students so this way you can understand that you can remember the formula of glucose c6 s12 o6 now students we are going to see the structure what will be the possible structure students how you are going to draw the structure so students it is containing six carbon so we will draw the structure of six carbon first because it is aldehyde so we starting function functional group will be aldehyde aldehyde is always present in the terminal so we are writing here aldehyde containing one carbon okay students so this way students we are going to represent the structure of glucose okay students so two carbon i have already drawn four carbon will be in between so this way students we have to draw the open structure of glucose now we are going to fill the valency carbon is always in tetravalency state students so if hydrogen here hydroxy will be this side this is the carbon number one this will be the two three four five and this is the six okay students so this way students you have to fill the valency so this is the structure of d glucose this is open structure students so why it is d because here the hydroxy of fifth carbon is present on the right hand side that is why we call as d glucose understanding students now students sometimes what will be the closed structure how you are going to see students for that students what happens this hydroxyl group will react with the aldehyde group and it will form the hemiacetyl structure so students this hydroxy is going to be react with the aldehyde of the glucose and it is forming the structure like this students so this is the carbon number one this is carbon number six now it is a tetravalent so tetravalency i have written like this now four carbon you can write like this carbon number two three four and this is five okay students now what happens is students this hydroxyl group when this functional group react with this another functional group that is aldehyde it is forming hemistyl hemiacetyl structure like this okay students what happens students here will be the hydrogen and here will be the hydroxyl group so this is the reaction students and other will be the same as it is second carbon hydrogen is here hydroxyl is on right hand side So this is the structure because now it is present in ring form now we are going to see this is pyron ring so we call as d glucopyranose because this hydroxyl group is present both are present on the same sides on, on right hand side so we call as alpha d you know why it is d because of this hydroxyl group alpha d gluco now there is a formation of pyron ring so we call as glucopyranose okay students now in this is this can also represent like this students close structure so first i will draw the pyron ring this is the pyron students carbon number one i am representing here this is carbon number two three four and six carbon i am representing here okay students now carbon is always tetra valency so i am drawing the tetra valency of the carbon so this way you have to draw hydrogen which are present on left hand side that we, we are going to write above hydroxyl group will be down side of the first carbon and second carbon students like this fourth carbon will be like this ch2 will be above this is ch2oh hydrogen will be below so this is the structure of this is also called as alpha d gluco now glucose is present in ring form so students these two are the ring form and this is open structure students so alpha d gluco pyranose understanding students so glucose is always present in ring form understanding students so this way students we are knowing what is glucose and its structure now we are going to see the chemical properties 
how you can say the glucose is having six carbon for that students you have to do the reaction that is action action of hydrogen iodide understanding students now what happens students now you know the structure students glucose ch2 cho the aldehyde group and ch oh and this is ch2 oh how many carbon four carbon total six carbon. so this is the condensed structure of glucose students this is your glucose now what happens students when you add when you add hi hydrogen iodide and just heat it there will be the reduction reduction reaction will take place all the oxygen of this will be removed and it will form like this students ch3 ch2 and this is ch3 and this is what four you can also represent this as like this also students ch3 ch2 how many there is a four ch2 group and this is the CH, total six carbon so we call as is the formation of n hexane this is nothing but what n hexane so students this is the carbohydrate hydrocarbons hydrogen and carbon elements are there so that is what we call as hydrocarbons so we are getting hydrocarbons containing six carbon understanding students so this way students you can explain the glucose is containing six carbon understanding so this way comes to the conclusion that glucose contains six six carbon so you can say glucose contains six carbon understanding students so this way students we can explain the number of carbon by adding hydrogen iodide now what happens students if you have glucose now second students we are going to see the action of hydroxylamine what happens students when you add hydroxylamine action of hydroxyl amine hydroxylamine students that we are showing with this NH2OH so because of this OH group we call as hydroxyl and this is coming from it is a derivative of ammonia so that is why it is called as hydroxylamine now students action of hydroxylamine hydroxyl amine now what happens students you have glucose that is CHO CHOH four times and this is CH2OH this is your glucose students now what happens students when you add this hydroxylamine action of H2 and OH so this is the hydroxylamine students now you will find that this hydroxyl amine is always it is only react with the aldehyde is going to react with aldehyde understanding students so this way you can find it will forming glucose oxime Under, understanding students so hydroxyl amine when react with glucose it will form glucose oxime so what happens students the oxygen of this react with the hydrogen of the hydroxyl amine and there is a removal of water molecules and there is addition reaction will take place addition which type of addition that is condensation type of because the water is removed so we call as condensation type of addition reaction so what happens students so this will go and it will react with the aldehyde and it will forming like this students other will be as it is it is four times and ch2oh so it is forming glucose is now converted into glucose because it is containing now oxime groups so we call as glucose oxime okay students so this is the age of formation of glucose oxime this shows that this showed, shows that glucose glucose contains aldehyde group aldehyde group understanding students so this is the second property students if you want to find out the whether the glucose is containing aldehyde group or not so we have to add hydroxylamine to the compound and there is a formation of glucose oxime this shows that uh, glucose contains aldehyde group understanding students now third property students action of hydrogen cyanide so action of hydrogen cyanide is nothing but students hydrogen HCN H is transfer hydrogen and cyanide we call as CN understanding students so what will be the action of hydrogen cyanide on glucose students so students you know the formula of glucose CHO CHOH four times and CH2OH this is the glucose students glucose molecule now when react with hydrogen cyanide here students addition reaction will take place only the addition there is no removal of anything so only the addition reaction this molecule will going to be added to this molecules so both the molecules will added and they will form like this so here students the, in here the carbonyl group you, carbon is tetravalence so what happens students one of the hydrogen will go and it will react and it is forming OH and cyanide will be going to be attached like this 
others will be the same like this okay so so this glucose is now converting to glucose cyanohydrin glucose cyanohydrin okay students so there is a pure addition reaction students here both the molecule will will be added they are joined to this aldehyde group only okay students only aldehyde so this way also you can say glucose is containing six carbon this will also shows that glucose contains six carbon okay students so this is the way uh, students you can uh, glucose contain aldehyde group this is aldehyde group students because it is going to be react with the aldehyde other part will be as it is so you can say glucose contains aldehyde functional group understanding students very important students this is the action of hydrogen cyanide now we are going to see the students that is action action of bromine bromine water what will happen students when you pass bromine water on glucose bromine water students is very important oxidizing agent now what happens students you have glucose students cho ch oh four times and ch2 oh this is your glucose students when you oxidize bromine water is very very important oxidizing agent what happens students it will gives you nascent oxygen understanding students so bromine water because of bromine water this nascent oxygen is going to be oxidized aldehyde only the aldehyde okay students it will oxidize the aldehyde group so what happens means this group is converting into cooh that is carboxylic acid other will be as it is chooh four times and ch2oh so this is nothing but it means glucose is now it is coming in acidic form so it is called as gluconic acid gluconic acid understanding so how the glucose name is converting gluconic acid by the action of bromine water so this is oxidized to the carboxylic group so that now glucose is converted into gluconic acid this is also shows that glucose contains aldehyde group understanding students so this way shows three reaction which shows that aldehyde is containing uh, glucose is containing aldehyde group understanding students very important students now one more reaction we are going to see chemical properties students that is called as action of dilute nitric acid fifth reaction students action of dilute nitric acid hno3 understanding students what happens students when you add hno3 nitric acid to glucose so this is the glucose students ch choh four times ch2oh this is glucose students now when you add dilute nitric acid what happens when these two reactant will react they will form it is not oxidizing it is hno3 is also oxidizing agent now it is oxidized aldehyde group as well as primary alcohol this is first degree alcohol students so this glucose is converted into c aldehyde is converted into carboxylic group and choh secondary will be as it is now this is converted into coh understanding students so it is forming because it now both are converted into acidic group students so now it is called as sacaric acid sacaric acid understanding students so it shows that it shows that glucose contains first degree alcohol also containing first degree alcohol first degree oh understanding where oh is going to attach to the first degree carbon understanding students first degree alcohol it is a first degree alcohol so this way students you can explain the whether the glucose is containing first degree alcohol or not so it is containing first degree alcohol because it is forming more sacaric acid so this way students if you want to convert glucose into sacaric acid we have to add hno3 understanding students now one more property students that is last property i am going to explain this students that is called as action so students now we are going to see the action of acetic anhydride on glucose so first of all students what is acetic anhydride students acetic anhydride is made up of acetic acid understanding students so what happens students acetic acid formula you are knowing ch3 cooh one more structure students i am drawing here acetic acid ch3 cooh what happens students when there is a removal of water molecules when there is anhydride that means there is a removal of water molecules so this oxygen so here students ch3 co will form this type of structure so this is acetic anhydride acetic anhydride structure you can also write like this so this is acetic anhydride 
okay students now what happens to students when you add this acetic anhydride to the this is the acetic acid students acetic acid and this is also one molecule second molecule of acetic acid on dehydration it will form acetic anhydride understanding students now what happens students this is the acetic anhydride when you add to the glucose molecule students glucose molecule cho chooh 4 times ch2oh when you add this is glucose students when you add this acetic anhydride ch3 co two times because oxygen is what divalent now what happens students this acetic anhydride how many hydroxy because glucose is penta hydroxy so where where will be the hydroxyl group will be there students this acetic anhydride acetate group is going to be attached to that part okay students so it will form cho c h o c o c s 3 okay students now here also students because there are four so four will be going to be there here now one more acetic anhydride here students because of hydroxyl group it will form c h 2 c o c s 3 okay students so total how many acetic are four here and one here so you have to five molecules of acetic anhydride react with one molecule one molecule and it will forming the glucose this is the derivative of glucose so we have to name glucose penta acetate the name of this compound is glucose penta acetate why acetate because this is acetate group students total five acetate that is why we call as penta acetate understanding so this shows that glucose it contains five hydroxyl group it contains five hydroxyl group understanding students so this way students you can explain number of hydroxyl group present in the glucose so glucose is containing because it is penta hydroxy that's why it is called as what glucose penta acetate glucose is forming glucose penta acetate so this way students you can come comes to the conclusion that glucose contains five hydroxyl group so this is very important property we have seen students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you